Hi, hello, how are you all? Welcome to my channel Law Made Simple with me Vidya Reddy. Let us look into the Payment of Gratuity Act. How is the gratuity calculated? In terms of Section 4 Clause 1 of the Payment of Gratuity Act 1972, gratuity shall be payable to an employee on termination of his employment after he has rendered continuous service not less than 5 years. So, in general, on his superannuation or on his retirement or resignation or on his death or disablement due to accident or disease, this gratuity is given. The completion of continuous service of 5 years shall not be necessary where the termination or employment of any employee is due to death or disablement. And the amount of gratuity is calculated in section according to section 4 of the Act. So, we have two kinds of uh, um, establishments in this seasonal establishment and establishment which uh, other than seasonal establishment so first let us look into the establishment which is other than seasonal establishment under section 4 clause 2 of the act it lays down that for every completed year of service or part thereof in excess of six months the employer shall pay gratuity to an employee at the rate of 15 days wages based on the rate of wages last drawn by the employee concern so they will the gratuity amount is calculated based on the last drawn wages amount wages amount by so there was a controversy over the matter of calculation of 15 days wages in the case of monthly play, paid employee the question was whether the employee pay should be divided into either 26 or 30 so because the term uh, month is not defined in the act but the High Courts of Andhra Pradesh and Gujarat took this one in a different view. And the High Court of Gujarat said that the worker gets full month wages for not working for 30 days but it is for 26 days. Hence the monthly pay is to be divided by 26 to calculate one day wages. And this matter was completely agreed by the Supreme Court. And in the case of Digvijay Woolen Mills Limited versus MP Butch also, same case was observed. And they were they did not interfere with the decision of the High Court, and they were taking the uh, um, they were agreeing to it. So this was uh, this is how uh, um, gratuity is calculated. So uh, the Supreme Court decision, the gratuity is calculated by how monthly rate of wages last drawn by the employee into 15 by uh, into how many number of years he has completed divided by 26. In the case of a piece rated employee, the daily wages shall be counted on average of total wages received by him or a period of 3 months immediately preceding the termination of employment and for wages paid for any overtime work will not be taken into account. So, this is how uh, the um, gratuity is calculated. The second one is seasonal establishment. In seasonal establishment, the employee stand um, the employee stand is classified into two types: those who work throughout the year and those who work only during the season. So, those who work throughout the season, the rate of 15 days in excess of six months uh, is calculated as per the establishment other than seasonal establishment. And for those who work only during se that uh, season. However, they are entitled to receive gratuity at the rate of 7 days for each season. So, computation of gratuity to a disabled employee uh, is also calculated here. Due to any accident or disease, an employee may be disabled as a result of which he cannot do the same work with the same efficiency. The employer may re-employ such employee only on reduced wages. And the gratuity of this disabled workman will be computed in two parts. For the period preceding the disablement, gratuity is calculated on the basis of wages last drawn by the him, like uh, like the normal uh, gratuity how is he did. And after the disablement happened, for the periods after, uh, subsequent to the disablement, gratuity will be computed on the basis of reduced wages drawn by him at the time of his termination of his service. So the total uh, amount of gratuity of these two periods will amount to gratuity payable for the disabled employee. So in this way, it is calculated. 